This is another video about navigating Google Classroom, but the focus of this video is on due dates and revision periods. So on Google Classroom, I have a screenshot here. Now my screenshot is of what I see in teacher view. When you log in as your student, you're gonna be viewing it in student view. So your, your student's not gonna see um, how many assignments the teacher's graded and whether or not other people turned it in or have it assigned. So we will ignore uh, this portion here, um, but we can look at all the other information. So on Google Classroom, you'll get all the information you need about when an assignment was originally due, as well as the end of the assignment's extension period. If you've watched the video about our grading policy, you know that students have one week to revise classwork um, and homework, and they have two weeks to revise quizzes or tests or projects. So underneath an assignment, when you click on it to open it up, this, this box kind of loads with some additional information about the assignment. In this box, you should see the teacher has entered the original due date. So this assignment, the photosynthesis and pollination assignment, was originally due on September 20th. That was the day it was supposed to be done, but since it was classwork, there was a one-week extension period with the due date of September 27th. That is the date that you'll also see here in the assignment. So when you're scrolling through Google Classroom and you see a due date posted here, you know that is the very end of the revision period. We're only going to be publishing these end of revision period dates because we want students and families to be clear about exactly how long the student can work on that assignment. Your student is going to be getting this information, one, because they see it on Google Classroom, two, because their teacher is telling them, and three, because they're going to have emails when assignments are graded or feedback is left on the assignment in the um, format of a Google Classroom comment. As a parent, the biggest way to kind of track these Google Classroom assignments are by using the bullet point bulletins. If you watch the video with the overview of the bullet point bulletin, you know that your teachers, your students' teachers, are gonna be including links to these assignments. So that way, when you open up the newsletter from your child's grade level, you can see, oh, they worked on this assignment this week, they have the grade back, you can actually click on that link and it'll take you to your specific student's assignment where you can see their grade, any feedback from their teachers, any comments that your student left their teacher, et cetera. So, um, a few more things we talked about in our Google Classroom boot camp or our family boot camp session was like, what about absences? Um, your students have these revision periods built in. So in most instances, students are able to work with their teachers to submit their work within that revision period still. But if a student is absent for a week um, and they might need you know, more time, that's something they need to communicate with their advisory teacher about. And their advisory teacher can offer support and help them uh, streamline that communication with all the teachers on their team. Now, um, I know that we have both a middle school and a high school program, uh, but we really want to in, in, you know, encourage our middle school families in particular that middle school is a very safe place to make mistakes. You know, in high school, um, if a student is not passing particular courses, they do need to take that course again um, as they're you know, preparing to earn college credits and you know, graduate with their high school diploma. Uh, middle school, though, it's obviously an important foundational step in reaching um, high school and, you know, being able to enroll in honors courses and such. But um, ultimately, at the end of the day, any decisions about their high school class placement um, is something that the teacher recommends and the families and students have the ultimate say in. So we just want to really encourage our families to know at the beginning of school year, if you're watching this video as a first quarter, sixth grade family, um, you might see your students struggle a little bit at the beginning of the year. And that, that is okay. We all want to work together to help them grow. Uh, please use our resources we have for families to talk with your student about what they're learning, how they're doing, uh, you know, how to persevere if they aren't uh, earning the grades that meet their standards. Um, but this is the time to work through their academic habits and build up their academic skills um, without, honestly, without uh, much um, like consequences in the, in the way that we typically think of that word. So I hope this helped you uh, learn how to navigate the due dates and such on their revision periods in Google Classroom. And take a peek at the grading policy video if you missed it because it includes some additional helpful information.